Aries Sun, Aries Moon, and Aries Rising, welcome to your December 2024 horoscope. Aries, on December 1st, there is a new moon happening in Sagittarius in your ninth house. And remember, new moons bring new beginnings. Sagittarius is the energy of expansion, optimism, and adventure. And so with this new moon happening in your ninth house of higher wisdom, higher education, expansion, abundance, and spirituality, you are likely um, going to be manifesting something new in these areas of life. It's a really good time, Aries, if you are trying to share some information very far and wide. This is a good time to send it out to the universe. And it could also be, Aries, that with this new moon, you are connecting with different people from different foreign lands, um, different cultures, and really expanding your own personal life philosophy because of it. On December 6th, Mars goes retrograde in Leo in your fifth house. Now, Mars is the energy of your self-motivation. This is a very assertive energy. This is you taking physical action towards your goals. Leo, the energy of your creativity, your self-expression, and really enjoying life's pleasures. So with Mars retrograde in Leo, it's likely that you might be feeling a little bit physically exhausted, maybe more tired than normal. You might be struggling um, creatively or really expressing yourself. And with this energy in the fifth house, it's a really beautiful time to kind of slow it down energetically and physically speaking. Take a second to reflect on what is working as it relates to your creativity. What is working as it relates to what you're doing in your day-to-day -day life that brings you joy and do some reflecting around what you need to let go of so that when Mars does go back direct in February, 2025, you're ready and you're energized and really ready to hit the ground running as it relates to expressing yourself and creating. Now, specifically, if you're an entrepreneur, you might be feeling a little bit of um, tired at this time, a little bit lulling, a uh, uh, stagnation perhaps in the business, and that's okay, right? It's time for you to reflect so that when you do have this energy going forward again, you're taking aligned action towards your goals. On December 7th, Venus enters into you Aquarius into your 11th house and Venus is a very charismatic energy your 11th house very much focused on friends and groups and organizations you belong to so you are very likely extra social at this time extra magnetic and charismatic at this time I definitely recommend saying yes to all of the events that you have going on any networking opportunities because you never know who you are going to meet who has maybe some money for you maybe a new opportunity for you now the 11th the house also relates to um, money from the work that you do in the world. And so you might be receiving a bonus, a raise or a promotion at this time, or you could have a friend that is reaching out and asking to maybe invest in your business or invest and support you in some way. And lastly, you might feel compelled to really start to ask yourself, what are you doing at an individual level that's really helping advance society? On December 7th, Neptune goes direct in Pisces in your 12th house. Now, Neptune was retrograde since the beginning of July 2024. And with this energy retrograde, you're likely feeling maybe a little bit brain fog, a little bit experiencing more of like a harsh reality. Things have been kind of maybe more realistic at this time. And it could be that you felt a little bit disconnected to your intuition, or maybe you weren't trusting your intuition fully. And now with Neptune direct in your 12th house, of faith and spirituality you are more connected to the divine than ever before and it's likely that you're really tapped into your faith now whatever you learned during neptune retrograde around maybe spirituality around manifesting you're applying with neptune direct and you're truly bringing your manifestations to life in a much easier way on December 15th, there is a full moon in Gemini in your third house, really shining a spotlight on your intellectual pursuits, your curiosities, and your communication. And full moons are always asking us to release those things that no longer serve us. So with this full moon at home in the third house in Gemini, you're really focusing in on releasing any low vibrational thoughts, any negative self-talk, and anything about really sending any negativity out energetically into the universe, recognizing that what you put out, you receive back. And so this full moon in Gemini is really asking you to align your thoughts, align your speech, your emotions, and your actions so you can truly manifest what it is you desire. Also on the 15th, Mercury goes direct in your ninth house in Sagittarius. And while Mercury was retrograde over the past couple of weeks, you were likely feeling like you were experiencing some miscommunication 
or perhaps you had some trouble focusing. And now with Mercury direct in Sagittarius in your ninth house, you are extremely focused on life philosophies. You're focused on expanding your life in some way and collecting more abundance. It could be that you are tapped in or you have some curiosities around spirituality or finding ways to gain higher wisdom and knowledge. And it could be that you really desire to share this knowledge using your communication skills that Mercury energy far and wide to foreign and distant lands. And finally, on the 21st, the sun moves into Capricorn, into your 10th house. And with the sun in Capricorn, this is a more um, responsible energy. It's a mature energy. You're likely determined and a little bit more driven towards achieving success at this time. Now, with this focus in your 10th house of career and personal legacy, you are definitely zoned in and focused in on career growth and expansion at this time. And it's very likely that you're creating very solid plans to achieve personal success as it relates to building your wealth and your personal empire. Aries, that is your December 2024 horoscope. I truly hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, and share. Make sure to hit the notification bell so YouTube lets you know when I upload monthly content, content like this and also when I go live Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you're interested in working with me or entering my personal vortex, you can check out all of my offerings in the description box below.